Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with today's trading action. All right, as we come into the European session, still no fluctuations in the recent short-term trends, right? The dollar still screaming topside. That, that trend line there on, on dollar cat is amazing, right? It's, and it's, it's not unusual because we're seeing that across a lot of the pairs, Euro, Sterling, Aussie, Kiwi. Now, all of these instruments have been fundamentally flushed out right? All the fundamentals have been washed aside. We've had Hurricane um, Helena, then Hurricane Milton has just come through and uh, sort of done its damage. We'll, we'll wait and see what uh, daylight brings for the US, but you can sort of see here where the, the main part of the storm is is through uh, Florida. Uh, good part is our tech team are okay. It, it, they were just off the eye of it and uh, everything seems to be fine. So, but the water, water and power will be off in um, Florida for the next three days, I believe. So we'll see how uh, what the wash up of that is. But hopefully, we can get back to work ASAP. Now, so just looking at those charts, right? We've got a key event today, obviously US CPI. Now, events like the geopolitical stuff, like the Middle East and even this hurricane going through the US, really saps the life out of the market. Okay, it sort of really deflates things. And the market's sort of sitting there, not really minding too much and just let, let, letting sit where everything is, right? So like the key parts to what we're looking at is the month-on-month -month numbers, 2.3 and 0.1, right? you got the range there of the year-on-year, 2.2 to 2.4, okay? The, the expectations are, even the range, lower numbers than the prior month, which just keeps the Fed on track, right? Now... If you're looking at the news, this is where it can get a little bit uh, sort of misleading. Dollar hits 10-week highs versus the yen as Fed easing bets ebb ahead of CPI, right? There's been no change in the derivatives market of what the expectations are for the Fed, right? 0.25%, 85% factored in. That has not changed, right? So this is where the news services get a little bit of lack of uh, like real news, and they start sort of regurgitating stuff that came from earlier in the week. One thing that has really, um, really, just, well, I was going to say disturbed the market, but sort of messed up the flow of things was this, uh, this imagine that huge move where the um, Chinese equities, I should say, were up about 8%. And I, I think Samsung were up like 275% or the forecast was for their earnings. Now, that really led to a massive risk on day. And then that just dissipated. And ever since then, we've just seen one-way traffic, right? So, like looking at today's US CPI numbers, we are expecting weaker, uh, weaker numbers, right? But what we need is we need a, a number if we're going to shake down the market below two point two, right? That's what we really need. If we get a number above two point four, well, the dollar's just going to flush to the top side because no one is long dollars, right? Everyone's been short dollars and hanging on, so. The good situation, I think, is a number below 2.2. You get down to 2.1, it'll be a weak dollar situation, and we'll start to see these uh, charts come back and sort of mirror more the fundamentals than anything else. Right at the moment, it, you'd think that the US uh, market is just going skyrocketing, but it's not really. It's just a culmination of geopolitical and natural disasters, and that's where we are, right? So, you know what? We've got good trend lines. And if you start drawing trend lines on a lot of these instruments, you'll start to see some good potential levels, which if we do get weak numbers, could fit nicely into play, right? So just go along and draw your trend lines, grab yourself a cup of coffee or something like that, turn some tunes on. The best time to do your analysis is just chilling out, right? You don't have to think about too much as I'm sort of just doing here. And I'm just looking for levels where we are, right? And you can start to sort of get a paint a bit of a picture here where, you know what, if this US dollar short-term sort of cycle or trend, whatever you want to call it, um, flips, you want to be ready to sort of take advantage of the opportunities as they come up, right? So that's what I would be doing is uh, just getting yourself prepared. And all you need to do is draw your trend lines, get ready for the for the shuffle, right? And what I mean by that is the flush out, the, the market is not talking about the Middle East anymore. As I told you before, the markets will become desensitized to the to the whole situation. And even if it continues, it won't impact the market. Okay, that's how these geopolitical events roll. Anyway, that's where we are. The uh, I, I still think, like the, at the moment, 
The easiest trade is um, trading Euro to the downside, Euro, Sterling, Aussie, Kiwi. Just keep looking for that downside move and topside in the dollar until we see something to uh, suggest otherwise. And right, what that, that is? Well, that's the US CPI numbers below 2.2. Uh, that, or, you know, let's go 2.1 or 2% down there. That'll really get the uh, the ball rolling, right? And that should see a weak dollar. And all you need to do on your charts is come back and find the pairs that have got the best trend lines. And I can tell you what, you're going to have a hard time picking because most of them have pretty good uh, short-term um, resistance trend lines. So you've got plenty to choose from, right? And if anything, you're sort of just starting to track sideways at the moment. But uh, there are opportunities there for sure. It's just a matter of will the market engage, right? As I said, after a sort of like a natural disaster event, it's like the traders just like let everything sort of just settle and then they come back to it afterwards. So anyway, there's been a lot of hype around that hurricane going through Florida, I can tell you. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see very little activity on the US CPI numbers today, right? In actual fact, you probably find the number coming out as expected Right in the middle of the range, nothing will move and uh, will be none the wiser. All right, guys, have a good one. All the best. Cheerio.